The Ethiopian highlands are often called the roof of Africa. It's a rugged and breathtakingly beautiful landscape. And a discovery in recent years has got precious gem experts around the world very excited. Opals, and of an exceptionally high quality. We meet a group of miners as they head back to their village. The work is very, very hard, this man tells me. Look at the blue in that. Seto has been mining for two years. He and 12 other men work in this 40 meter long tunnel. The group earn up to $2,500 a week for the stones they find. Now Sato has been digging here for about 20 minutes now and he's just hacked into a piece of rock and you can see here this is the opal and the guys who work this mine say that on a good week they can pull out around 50 kilos of these stones. There is nothing to support the roof of the tunnel. Seto says the last time a miner was killed here was three years ago. Landslides happen when it rains. It's frightening when you're inside the tunnel. But I don't want to stop this work until I'm successful. The government has supplied the miners with basic tools and says it wants to improve health and safety standards. It's encouraged them to form cooperatives. They sell most of the raw opals for processing abroad. <laughs> Bank check. Since we formed the cooperatives, we have been able to save money. Some of our friends have bought cars, others are buying houses. This is one of only two gemstone workshops in Addis Ababa. Ethiopia's opal industry generates around $25 million a year, a long way behind Australia, which produces more than 90% of the world's opals. This stone on the left is worth around $5 per carat. They increase in value as you move along the line. This last stone is around $150 per carat and is valued at over $3,000. All are found in Ethiopia. The government plans to establish infrastructure here to sell cut and polished stones. We're uh, now inviting investors, mining companies with experience to come to Ethiopia. The opal is known as the queen of gems, and so men like Seto continue digging despite the risks involved. Charles Stratford, Al Jazeera, Wello District, Northern Ethiopia.